the first ethnic Oromo to be prime minister. The country. When Abiy assumed leadership, he was a relatively unknown figure to many Ethiopians. He had affiliations with the discreet prosperity gospel faction within the EPRDF government and was an active member of the Oromo Democratic Party. Abba Dula Jemada, a mentor and recruiter of Oromo new leaders, considered Abi one of his protégés. As Abi later publicly confessed, they were actively involved in efforts to sabotage, conspire, and plot to undermine the established Tigray-led EPRDF government through subversion. Haile Mariam expressed a belief that Abi's rise to leadership bore the markings of divine intervention. Ooh, he did? The political transformation in 2018 that propelled Abiy to power was undoubtedly a part of God's plan. I strongly believe that God himself orchestrated this transition. While some may view this idea as laughable, I am resolute in my belief that God is the architect behind this change. When it comes to our Prime Minister, Abiy Ahmed, I believe that when God intends to instigate change, he doesn't descend from the heavens. Instead, he operates through individuals. In my view, our Prime Minister has been divinely selected, a conviction I've held for quite some time. Did you know that he's going to be a Prime Minister? Not just being Prime Minister. I knew also he was chosen by God.